you should consider upgrading your grinder. The Baratza Encore is a great do-it-all grinder, which is why I bought one. But I also read there are some upgrades that you can do to it. One, you can make it stepless. Two, you can put a new burr in it that makes it apparently quieter, faster, and more precise. It does involve taking the grinder apart, so if you're not comfortable with minor surgery on electronic devices, then maybe don't do it. Also, my grinder is out of warranty, so I was comfortable opening it up. I've been using it for espresso now, upgraded for a few days, and it does seem to grind finer. It also has a lot more minute adjustments because it's not clicky. So here's what I did. You're gonna need a new burr, pliers, a flathead screwdriver, a Torx 10 screwdriver, a precision Phillips screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, and a spare rag. Okay, so first you're gonna take off the bean hopper, then the on-off knob, then the hopper gasket. And now you'll take off the outer burr. And clean it out maybe before you do this because mine was messy. You'll see more of that in a minute. Next you want to wedge a screwdriver in between the bottom of the case and the top and you sort of twist it and do this push-pull movement so you can unlatch it. Eventually when you do that four times, there are four latches, you should just be able to pull it off. Mine was disgusting inside because I've been using it for two years without cleaning, so maybe take it apart and clean it before you do this. Disconnect it from the circuit board, that's the motor, and then this is the safety switch, you'll need to take that off too. I'm using a camera lens cleaner to blow off all the coffee dust, but if you have canned air, that'll work just fine. Next, you need a Torx screwdriver, Torx 10. There's three screws up here to remove the motor. And you can just pull that off. Turn it upside down because there's screws to remove the motor here as well. Same thing, T10s, there's four of them. Unscrew those and just pull that off. Same thing here, mine was disgusting, so I used the camera lens cleaner to blow off a bunch of gunk. I didn't even think that was coffee, oddly, it looks like dust. <coughs> Next, you'll use an adjustable crescent wrench to get the nut off the gear and just pull that off. There's a lock washer there too, make sure you keep that aside. Okay, pause. I'm about to hit the metal shaft out of the gear assembly. You're gonna need something firm, but something that's not going to damage the metal when you hit it. I've chosen a rubber mallet, but you can use the end of a screwdriver. Just try not to hurt yourself. One more thing. Maybe don't do this in the air like I did. Baratza carefully calibrates their grinder so there's no vertical play in that burr shaft. Every grinder has a stack of washers that are slightly different thicknesses, and they all go specific places. I'll show you what I mean in a second, but make sure you keep track of what washers went where. Oh, see what I mean? I got lucky. That right there is the washer between the gear and the housing, which just happened to fall in a different direction than the burr assembly. Do not tilt it like I did. Take the burr out, put it to one side, and then carefully take out the gear and the washer in front of it. Make sure you know which one is which. Here we have some felt, the paddle that pushes the grinds, and the washers that I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna take the wing nut and the burr off of the shaft. It's reverse threaded though, which is pretty weird. Just make sure that you're not accidentally tightening it. Grab a rag to get this, just so you don't hurt your hand, and then get pliers, and eventually it will come off. It's reverse, don't forget, but it might take some doing, but it'll get there. Unscrew it like that. And here's the old burr versus the new burr, left and right. They're surprisingly different. The rest is pretty hard to mess up. You just reassemble it with the new burr. Don't over tighten this, just finger tighten it because it will work its way on as it's grinding. Baratza specifically mentions that. The paddle fits into a little groove inside the bottom of the burr, so that's nice and easy. And then you put your washers on and then you put your felt on. And then you just put it back in the gearbox. But first we're gonna make this stepless. This is the adjustment screw, it's for calibration. Remember where that hole is because it's gonna have to go back there. Took some figuring how to get this off, but if you hold the bottom white part and then turn the black part independently, it will eventually. 
that you just pull this off and that's what makes it stepless. That's your clicker right there. I saved it just in case. Now you're just putting it back together. Put the burr in there, find your gear washer, and then put your gear on top. It's a tight squeeze to get back onto the shaft, so you're gonna wanna hammer it on. Use a socket, just put it around there and lightly tap it until it fits on the shaft. It's snug, but it eventually will. You might have to help it along with your fingers again. This is a bit of a process. As long as it's turning, you're good. If the burr turns and the, with the gear, then it's fine. It doesn't need to spin freely. Grab your lock nut and your washer and put those back on. And again, you can just finger tighten this. You don't need to use a wrench. Honestly, the rest is pretty straightforward. You just put it back together. I did struggle with this part though. There's a rubber gasket at the ground chute. It only really fits on one way, but it can kind of fall when you're putting it back in. So you want to be a little careful with that. It goes on eventually. Now you just push until it does that. Pick it up, make sure that it's clicked in. There you go. Put your outer burr back in, put your gasket back in, put your hopper on, and look at that, no clicks. Well, I had some ideas, but I didn't officially see the results until just now on my computer. I think it's pretty clear that the new burr is faster, but whether or not it's quieter or more precise, the jury's kind of still out on that one. And like I said at the beginning, there are definitely smaller adjustments I can make because it's stepless. And I could mess around a little bit with the calibration screw that I showed you earlier to make it more precise. I haven't used it for that long. It's only been a few days. All I know is that it's faster, which is great because the sooner I can get caffeine in my system, the better. But what do you think? Have you done this mod? Do you like it? Do you like it better or worse than the factory grinder? Was it worth your money? Is there something you'd like me to test in the new burr? Are there any concerns or questions about the tests that I did? Throw them in the comments below and I will definitely respond to you. I hope you found this helpful in some way and if you did, please throw me a like and a subscribe because that really helps. My name is Riley McDonald and I will be making another coffee video in the next few weeks. But until then, find yourself a local roaster and go out and do some coffee experiments because you cannot go wrong. See you next time.